Welcome back to Golf Extra. Rory McIlroy has been an ardent supporter of the PGA Tour throughout the tour's battle with Live Golf over the last few years. With a merger looming, though, it's fair to wonder how Rory feels now and what his place will be in a new combined organization. Conveniently for us golf fans, he made some comments just after the merger that shed some light on his mindset and his reaction to the shocking merger. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get right into Rory McIlroy's stunning comments on the PGA Live merger. Throughout his career, Rory McIlroy has consistently been one of the most universally well-liked players in professional golf. He's won four major titles and has garnered several significant sponsorships throughout his career that have put him onto an elevated stage with fans. McElroy has also made headlines for being one of the PGA Tour's staunchest defenders during its prolonged battle with Live Golf. Before the 2022 U.S. Open, McElroy issued one of his first public statements about Live, openly going after the players who had already left the PGA Tour in favor of the Rebel organization. I guess I took a lot of player statements at face value. I guess that's what I got wrong. You had people committed to the PGA Tour, and that's what the statements were that were put out. People went back on that. It's disappointing. The players that are staying on the PGA Tour feel slighted in some way. If those guys thought outside of themselves, they would see this is not the best for everyone. Throughout the drama, McElroy played well and even won the 2022 FedEx Cup. Afterwards, no doubt riding the high of his victory, Rory was compelled to make another statement regarding the live PGA conflict, saying, I believe in this tour in particular. I believe in the players on this tour. It's the greatest place in the world to play golf, bar none, and I've played all over. I hate what it live golf is doing to the game of golf. I hate it. I really do. I feel strongly. I believe what I am saying are the right things, and I think when you believe what you are saying are the right things, you are happy to stick your neck out on the line. Obviously, McElroy did feel strongly enough to stick his neck out on the line for the PGA Tour. He continued to do so later on but this time for one of the PGA Tour's main allies in the DP World Tour. Prior to the BMW PGA Championship, McElroy took a strong stance against live golfers being included in the event at the expense of the DP World Tour players who weren't able to participate, saying, Look, my opinion is they, live golfers, shouldn't be here. They have been paid a lot of money to go and play on a different tour that is trying to buy the game of professional golf, and they are taking places away from players who really need spots this week. McElroy continued, This is a massive week on the European DP World Tour, and there are guys that have missed out because of those players that could have been in and could have kept their cards for next year and kept themselves in a job for next year. These guys don't have to worry about that stuff. McElroy concluded by saying, they are here because their tour does not get world ranking points, and this tour does. So my opinion is, they shouldn't be here, but the court ruling in July was that they can be. So until that gets rectified, or not rectified, but more in depth, they can play as we can't really do anything about it. McElroy's comments about Liv weren't all negative, though. He did give the tips for the innovation which it incited on the PGA Tour. Early in 2023, he said, the emergence of Live has benefited everyone that plays professional golf. This has caused a ton of innovation at the PGA Tour, and what was an antiquated system has been revamped to mirror where we're at in the world. After the recent Live PGA merger was announced, though, McElroy's feelings may have changed considerably. This is especially true given the shocking news that McElroy was not notified that the merger would be occurring, despite his close ties to the PGA Tour and the Commissioner Jay Monahan. Speaking before the RBC Canadian Open, McElroy expressed as much, saying, It's hard for me not to feel like a sacrificial lamb. I put myself out there. Rory also confirmed that he learned about the merger without any advance notice though he did mention that he was aware that negotiations were occurring. I learned about it at pretty much the same time that everyone else did, and yeah, it was a surprise. I knew there had been discussions going on in the background. I knew that lines of communication had been opened up. I obviously didn't expect it to happen as quickly as it did. As he had previously, McElroy expressed optimism surrounding the future of the PGA Tour, saying, Removing myself from the situation, I see how this is better for the game of golf. There's no denying it. For me, as an individual, there's just going to have to be conversations that are had. I've dealt with Jay a lot closer than a lot of those guys have, and from where we were a couple of weeks ago to where we are today, I think the future of the PGA Tour looks brighter as a whole. 
Rory also mentioned the inevitability of the merger, which in his eyes was going to happen regardless given the Saudi government's nearly limitless financial resources. Whether you like it or not, the PIF was going to keep spending the money on golf. At least the PGA Tour now controls how that money is spent. So, you know, if you're thinking about one of the biggest sovereign wealth funds in the world, would you rather have them as a partner or an enemy? At the end of the day, money talks and you would rather have them as a partner. However, he expressed a similar distaste with the live golfers as he had previously covered in his comments, saying that we can't just welcome them back. That's not going to happen. That's what Jay was trying to get across yesterday. What that looks like for individual players is keeping a tour card, bringing players back into the fold. That's where the anger comes from. I understand that and there still has to be consequences to actions. The people that left the PGA Tour irreparably harmed this tour, started litigation against it. With all that being said, it was no surprise that McElroy concluded his statement with some strong words saying, I still hate live, like I hate live. I hope it goes away and I fully expect that it does. It remains to be seen how Monaghan and the rest of the PGA Live leadership will incorporate McElroy into their future plans, or if he will be included in the future planning of the organization given his strong contribution and loyalty to the PGA Tour. All that is sure at the current moment in time is that McElroy isn't fully on board with the merger, and that he might be facing a difficult road ahead given the likely circumstances of the merger. As far as his play on the golf course goes, McElroy does appear to be continuing a strong run of play. He's put in three consecutive strong performances, with a tie for seventh at the PGA Championship, another tie for seventh at the Memorial, and a tie for ninth at the RBC Canadian Open. Despite the distractions, McElroy appears still to be locked in on the course, and he agrees, saying in his pre-US Open press conference, I'm building towards something. I'm certainly feeling a lot better coming into this major championship than I was going into Oak Hill. I sort of pieced it together around Oak Hill and did okay, but the last two performances, minus the two Sundays, have been really big steps of progress, and it's just about trying to build on that. McElroy added, I've had my ups and downs in this tournament, but I've started to figure out how to handle US Open conditions and tests. I think there's certainly a lot more patience in my game than there used to be. McElroy did win the US Open at Congressional in 2011. Could 2023's event at the LA Country Club bring a second victory for the Northern Irishman? It could certainly help take some of the sting out of his issues with the merger. So what do you think about Rory McElroy's reaction to the Live PGA merger? Do you think that'll continue his strong run of play? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.